Would you do reality TV again? Fuck no. Nah, it's for broke boys. It's for people that like, I mean, really, really like, like it's for, it's for attention. It's for, okay, geez, the gents, we got like a per diem of 150 per day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to stay in a cool Hollywood mansion, but you're staying with everyone else. It's really the cast members stay together. Um, there's a lot of unnecessary bullshit. Like when we're out doing an activity, one of the producers might move something from my bag into someone else's bag. So when I go looking for my shit, there's a problem started. And that's just stuff you don't see on camera. You just think that someone's thieving. But really, the producer took it out of my bag, put it in a Riff Raff's bag, and now I go to Riff Raff, yo, where the fuck's my shit at? Why is it right there, bro? What's up with that? You know, hey, man, I didn't take it, bro. Bullshit, you didn't take it. Then you have a fight, and that's what they love. You know what I mean? I mean, I've been on several episodes of, of what's the um, real house, I mean, loving Hip Hop. I haven't seen one of them. <laughs> I haven't seen one of them. <laughs> I haven't seen one of them. All I know is my Instagram goes crazy when the episode airs. But I didn't see one of them because it's just, I mean, it's, re it's, it's, it's reality TV. And people got to know that. Like, But people, but it's just so funny because when I read the comments, like, people are really, like, like, you know, me and you both, you know Ben Zeno. He's a good dude, man. He's a good guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good guy, you know. He's, and then you watch him on Love and Hip Hop, and then you see... A different side and you see you know they pick and choose what parts of people they want to show you know that's just that's just is what it is you know but um reality tv no nah, I, I i wouldn't i don't say i would i don't think i would do it ever again how did you get picked to be on that um, show <laughs> at craigslist i was i was broke man i needed money and I, I they had a craigslist um it said cast, mtv casting to go down and i pretty much told them my story i was like listen i don't have shit i don't have anything um, you know, here's what I've done, here's what I did, and, they, and then they do a background check, and my background check was fucked up, like, every week I was getting arrested for st the stupidest shit, you know, weed this week, joined this week, I did donuts in a church parking lot, and then knocked over two statues next, like, dumb as shit, you know what I'm saying, so shit, we, they're like, oh, you're the perfect guy, and then they flew me out to California, had to do another interview, and then they picked me to be a cast member on the show, and it was... It was like, about, I was out there for about four months filming. I can't remember the, I mean, I, I remember seeing clips of it, but how far did you? I was like the last four. There was, like, I think, 11 or 12 people, and I was like in the top four. So I went through like six, seven episodes. Eight. But like, again, you know, Derek Watkins, Fonzworth Bentley, that's amazing man. You know what I'm saying? Real good dude um, to this day. It's shit. He comments on my Instagram saying, "Let me buy this piece. Let me buy that piece." Like you know, he saw he saw my he saw what I was. We're from the same place, you know what I mean? And he saw what I was. He honestly, the reason I even got kicked off and let go, you know, he told me he said, you know, he said, "Listen, man, you don't you don't need to be on you don't need to be out here." He said, "I see it in you. You're from the same city I am. You're from the same place I am. You got to hustle. Go back and do something with it." And you know, that was the right decision. I didn't want to have money won or handed to me. I've never had taken a handout. I've never expected a handout, you know what I mean? And shit, that was that. And it was, it was, it was a fun, it was a cool, I call it an experience. It was a cool experience, for sure. Would I do it again? Nah, I'm cool. I'm not, you know, that, that production shit takes all day, bro. You gotta get mic'd. You gotta wear that hot ass battery mic on your back. Like, I'm cool on all that, man. I'd rather just do me and, and do what I know. How was life after uh, the reality show? Did you did you experience anything? I mean, you know, you, you're hot for a month or two, and then the next show comes on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I got club appearances. I got to go do all that shit. But it's really what you do. With, like the only really person that did anything besides myself now, who's doing what I do, is Riff Raff. He acted like a complete fucking idiot, and it worked. <laughs> it worked. I commend him for it. He's the biggest fucking moron, but he's the biggest genius in the world. Like, when you listen to him, and it, you know, uh, uh, Versace, my panther, Versace on my robe. He just talks the craziest shit, but it's fucking hilarious. How can you not like it? Like, it's hilarious. So, you know, life after it is what you do with it. You know, there was no opportunities handed. There was no, you know, I did like, um, I did the show True Life afterwards. There was a bisexual girl. Her name was Sydney. She's the redhead girl on Bad Girls Club, and she was a bisexual. And 
I was the guy, and then she had a girlfriend. So she was like, it was a whole big thing. Oh, I saw this guy on G's the Gents. This was when MySpace was around. She goes, oh, yeah. So I sent him a message on MySpace and said, you're really hot, blah, 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 blah. He wrote me back. I flew out to visit him and blah, blah. And they filmed all of it on MTV. It's the true life. Now, don't get this shit twisted. I'm telling you the title, true life, I'm a bisexual. And it's the girl, Sydney, the redhead from Bad Girls Club. She's the bisexual, she had a girlfriend, and she had a boyfriend, and I was the boyfriend. But again, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a TV show. You do it for the, I did it, my manager at the time, because he had a manager, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yes, it's more TV time, yes, do it, do it, do it. So I did it, and it was cool, you know, but, you know. And then I got to fuck her and her girlfriend, so that was pretty cool.